So I think most people when they come back from Thailand bring back um, sort of like a greediness to their training and ability to like do more. And the kind of uh, double-edged sword to that is that there's like a little bit of depression. Uh, like the training here just isn't the same. They don't get the same quality of training partners. They don't get the same amount of training. Um, but when they do train, they usually train harder and they want to do more. And so it kind of inspires people to, I don't know, train harder, I guess would be the main thing. So you got to adjust the training to fit the schedules for people who, you know, live in the West, right? Like people work at nine to five, they don't have time to spend three hours at the gym twice a day. Um, so you got to fit more into a smaller time slot. So that usually, uh, for at my gym, we we uh, I try to make it as close to the training in Thailand as possible, and we, you know we we do a really quick warm up. The warm up isn't necessarily like a like in Thailand they run for like 45 minutes to an hour, but we'll jog, we'll do some cal calisthenics to get people's heart rate up and sweating really fast, and then we usually jump into some kind of pad work or drills. Um, and I think in the states we do a lot more drilling um, to try to expedite the process of understanding how to apply what we're doing. So some seminars I've been to have uh, kind of, sh you know, sh shown me, I'm always trying to like find a new, not new, but just like different ways to make things fun, right? Because in the States, at least here, uh, most people are doing Muay Thai for fun and fitness. Um, and then there's a smaller percentage that want to compete. And so you kind of need to cast a net that kind of at least the way I approach it is I want everyone to be able to train like fighters um, so that fighters can get out of the classes what they need but the other people who are just doing it for fitness get out of the class what they need as well so some of the changes I've made have been um, doing more drills and doing more like repetitions tons and tons and tons of repetitions so like someone kicks like both people have gloves and shin guards one person kicks two times and then on the third rep the kicker either makes an adjustment to set up the previous two kicks or to, the defender makes an adjustment to counter the kick. And they'll do that for five minutes in a row and then they'll switch the other person will go for five minutes in a row and then we'll do two minutes where the people do the same thing back and forth and then we'll move on to a new set. And so that's something I didn't used to do. Um, I wanted people to, oh, we gotta do this, we gotta hit pads, you know, pads are fun, cracking a pad is fun. but. I find that even with that type of drilling, even though your uh, heart rate isn't necessarily getting up, your, you know, your muscle, your musculature is going to get really tired and sore, and so it's a, just a different type of workout. Um, and if you kind of couch it in that way, people, at least at my gym, seem to be pretty cool with it. So um, over the last couple of years, or I guess a year and a half, um, the gym was closed for about eight months, um, and during that time, I was offering Zoom classes a few times a week. And so, and now obviously all the classes are in person. Um, but what the Zoom classes showed me was like how much can be done and be learned through uh, shadow boxing and um, just keeping like the basics, right? So uh, shadow boxing and bag work, because some people have bags and some people don't. And so I had to try to like, try to make a Zoom class that would like fit everybody's needs. And I, you know, I could do a combination or something that, or a technique that's like, hey, we can do this on uh, shadow boxing, but like the person on the bag will have to make this modification to it. And so that's helped in in-person classes because one, um, doing reps on shadow boxing has proven to be like super valuable. I mean, that's why in Thailand there's like, that's part of your warm up. You always shadow box every single day. Um, and then the other is that there's people who are different levels and different skill sets and different goals. And so having to accommodate the Zoom class with people who are, you know, have different equipment um, and are trying to do more or less the same thing, that's helped me be able to um, accommodate people in class who are different skill levels and with different goals. Thank you, uh, Matt Lucas, and thank you, Muay Thai Graham, for. Uh, chatting with me and my contact information my personal instagram is at bander muay thai my gym's instagram is at ringcraft muay thai please like comment subscribe and share